And it's recording. Oh,
Every time someone lights up a cigarette and smokes, carcinogens such as benzene, carbon monoxide, and formaldehyde are released into the air. So the whole time the cigarette is burning, this is what the non-smoker is being exposed to. Um, there are two different kinds of smoke. One is mainstream smoke, and that is the direct smoke that the smoker himself is sucking through his lungs as he inhales on the cigarette. Um, three of the, the leading uh, dangers, dangerous chemicals are nicotine because it narrows and constricts the blood vessels and speeds up the rate of the heart, carbon monoxide because it robs the blood of its oxygen, and the tar is so dangerous because it coats the lung and causes cancer. The other type of smoke is side stream smoke. And this is the smoke that is more toxic and dangerous than the mainstream smoke. And the side stream smoke burns continuously. The smoker himself is not always sucking in the mainstream smoke, but he is always emitting side stream smoke. A very good example of passive smoking and the dangers uh, it has wreaked upon the population was done in Greece and Japan. Um, what they did was they studied a group of non-smoking wives who lived with non-smoking husbands and another group of non-smoking wives living with non-smoking husbands. And the study indicated there was a, a greater incidence of lung cancer and nasal cavity cancer for the women who lived with the smokers as opposed to the non-smoking husbands and non-smoking wives. And this, the, the study proved to be so significant because these women were domesticated housewives. They, they were in the home a lot more than, say, women that would be in the United States who would be exposed to many other carcinogens. So um, it was just a good concrete study that proved that passive smoking was wreaking havoc on people. Um, another example of the damage passive smoking does is the health hazards inflicted upon children and infants. And this is one that I feel very strongly about and that adults, being adults, can make a difference here. Um, studies have proven that uh, women who are pregnant and smoking have uh, complications during birth and low birth rates and even miscarriages. And another study has directly linked cigarette smoking to SIDS, which is sudden infant death syndrome. So adults need to be very conscious of this, and I think there needs to be a greater social awareness made in this area. Uh, smoking can be considered even a form of child abuse, and you don't hear about it often. Um, we're all concerned about our children and we don't want to do drugs or drink in front of them, but yet we think nothing about lighting up a cigarette in front of them. Uh, cigarette smoke among children cause hay fever and asthma and allergies. And uh, there's a uh, custody battle going on out in California right now. And the father has taken the mother to court. Um, their five-year-old son has been exposed to cigarette smoke from the mother. and the Supreme Court has passed down the, the rule on this woman that she cannot light up a cigarette until the child is 18. So for 13 years, she is not allowed by our court not to smoke cigarettes in front of this child. So while it limits the rights of mothers or fathers who smoke, what it's really doing is protecting the rights of children. The tobacco industry would like us to believe that we can all get through this using a courtesy approach. Well, that sounds good, but it's not realistic. Um, there have been some studies done in 47% of the population of smokers said that they would light up a cigarette before they would ever refer to other people if it would be okay. 4% of non-smokers believe that they would be comfortable enough to ask the smoker to put their cigarette out. So this approach is not going to work. So we need legislation and guidelines set down and laws to keep people 
who want to smoke in a different area, so us, the non-smokers are not exposed to it. Um, there's another area of a uh, group of people who have been very concerned over the years in their exposure of cigarette smoke, and that is the, the flight attendants. There is a there was a very big uh, class action lawsuit filed against the tobacco industry in Miami, Florida, and uh, the flight attendants have won. There, uh, the American Heart Association proved that flight attendants exposed to passive smoking on their flights was the equivalent of smoking a pack of cigarettes a day. So right now in the United States, Cigarette smoking is banned on all flights in the continental USA. And right now there's another group of flight attendants coming together to try to get that same law and choice passed among international flights. Um, there is definitely an increase of awareness about the passive smoking. And it has been proven scientifically that Yes, cigarette smoke is full of carcinogens, and we must all participate in this, uh, especially for the children. So, in conclusion, I think that there needs to be uh, stronger and bigger efforts to eliminate passive smoking, and we as parents and adults must reinforce this. Um, I think if we show our children that smoking really is not appropriate, that you'll see less and less children smoking. 